on the defense. Who gets to draw blood first? PG, I mean, we were touching on, obviously, with the addition of the Viper here. A couple more options on the defense as well. Chronicle, that's a decent tag, actually. Kong going to have to retreat away from here. Previously, we did see Fnatic, obviously, hunting down Bustio. Look then Bustio on the other side, sitting extremely deep on C. That's the first shot. That's the first blood of the Grand Finals. Demon 1 going to take down Chronicle and start putting... ...position to catch this, but Bosa, does he check this corner? Just on the edge of it, Bustio wins out. Okay, that's two kills on their side and a follow-up as well. Bustio takes out Leo, leaving it down to Durka and Alpha. And look at the positioning from Alpha, though. Nasty, gonna keep both of these players busy. Ethan on the defuse already. He's just gonna tank the paint shot for a while, and Alpha's now got a 1v1. Already halfway, though. Demon 1 wants to get back to business. Does he just try and sit this? No, he doesn't. He knows oh better God. than that! And Demon <laughs> 1 gets up. Seen hitting as hard as online was this man. And he's already off to that hot start. Gonna clean up Durka here. Doesn't really take much damage either. Nothing at all. That's a good reply, though. Boaster, gonna temper some of that. Oh, cats just before disconnected. Now it's one pot. Oh, Alpha's oh. The turret here. Oh, cats just before disconnected. Now it's one pot. Oh, Alpha's oh, actually on. found Ethan. That's an opportunity. It's the Guardian down. Bustio. Tethered to the ground for a second. Spikes in. And they've got player advantage here. No recovered weaponry just yet. Bustio going to spot the player. That's going to be Chronicle down. Great trade from Alpha. Hold on. Chip damage too. Bustio's in danger. That's huge. Fnatic. Maybe turns on its head, but a 1v2. Still possible for Com, but he's got to close that gap. A tap on the spike and leans a little closer. Boaster sitting so deep, though. Smart work from Boaster. Make him work for those next couple of steps. The shot doesn't come in, but time, it's ticking. The fight happens, and it wasn't clean enough for Com. Beautiful from Alpha. Alpha sitting. Now for the re this post plant. Problem being, actually, they need a little more time. See if they can do it. Can they flood the side? Durka waiting. Patiently, the only one to take the battle on the side. They're resting super deep for that post plant. Demon One going to take him down, but they got to get a move on. They still have to try and get themselves in a position to hit that defuse up. Demon One forced away, trying to get a little bit more chaotic here. They can't close down. Demon One can't get to him. Dealt with. Leo denies it, and Com. Yeah, not going to happen. Leo's here. And obviously EG on the other side suffering. Now we saw Com being punished with this. We actually saw the likes of Boostio punished with that sim singular set. Not respecting that utility. Actually, come out on top of it with a kill. Lockdown investor, though, so it should pave the way. Back in the corner. And obviously, EG knowing better than that now. Pausing for a moment, though. Instantaneous plant. Waiting for a little bit of utility to cycle through here. I mean, lots of time has passed. That's allowed to, to regroup here. But Boaster finds two. Pussy on Jorgamo will fall. That's massive work, leaving just the three alive. Plant now going to go down. Three players from CT. Chronicles position's good. That will know all three players, and they have no idea. What they're coming up against, they can slip back, but they have to clear Chronicle. The crossfires are going to be deadly. You can see Boaster now getting a little closer. Oh, the utility is stunning! Fnatic in this post plant have just eviscerated him. How deadly they can be in the thrifty. They pop out the back of the Viper here. Bustio will find one. That's a tag comes through with a shorty, but Durka Hold on. does this one. Bustio, he gets a second, though. Needs to do a little bit more here. After all that chaos settles, Bart's going to go in. He's going to need some belters to do something with this. Even trying to drop out of the smoke there with the TP to maybe get a bit of information, but Leo will see all the... And they were punishing them on any aggression before. Paint shell going to be the first thing invested. Jorgamo really shouldering most of this contact, but they are just kind of waiting for Demon 1 to get that chance. And they placement was actually really perfect here. Showstopper popped it. Actually, Demon 1 able to slip away, but caught on the retreat. And Dirk is so good at this clearing very efficient. Some read on the timing as well to pop the yep. pit here, but it's a lot to handle. Yeah, Yo, looking like he wants to invest the lockdown here. 27 seconds, maybe not a bad idea. Gonna really rip away some of their options, force them back into the pit potentially. But you can see Chronicle clearing around those edges. Trying to spot out Com. So the rest of Fanatics coming this way, so Com once again will have his hands full. Divide goes up as well to ensure a little more safety. And Com's close again. He's seen everything! Huge impact from Com! Finds two and now time! They're running so low, four seconds! Chronicle, gun out! Goes for the fight, they do not have time! If they can live, they've done enough! Approach, but it's worked very well. Dirk's gonna take all that space, but a challenger awaits. And it's gonna be Ethan! Got a bit of a hot hand already this round. Following up from the last. Seeker's gonna go through. 
And they should be working off the back of this. Yeah, time to close in. Busio could be the one really committed. And he gets away with murder. Finding two looking the wrong way. Ethan make himself the sacrifice and it works. And Boost has been dealt with. Big boy Busio. A meticulous in approach from Fnatic. To plants in. And a 5v5 retake. This could get incredibly messy unless Busio's going to keep keeping it clean. That gets a little closer to the wall. Now she swings it. The flash is divine. Sent from the gods! Ethan could be grinning with that one, and he wants a bit more! Bustio! He's just on! Towards C early on, this time around EG, noting that. And already, I don't think that's going to catch anyone, but it does give them the green light towards the site. There's an alarm bot here and there. Now they swarm down on default here, so a chance to maybe stall out this plant coming through. Or force Fnatic to plant a little deeper here. So last time, Fnatic baited out a couple of peaks, but... Lockdown invested here. Dirk is pushing forwards. Uh, EG are going to struggle to defend this. Okay, unless you have Ethan, apparently. Uh, going to find take the brunt of this. And our Chronicle, a little bit of freedom comes out of the paranoia, but gets out done. EG is sweeping the site. Alpha and Booster are about to get annihilated. Alpha, hold on. That's huge. Oh, 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 oh. Stumped by the underdogs of EG. Who've turned up today looking a whole lot different. Now, does that change the outcome? It towards B. And look at the damage. A ton of damage. Leo and Chronicle, the walking wounded. Down. Lucio as well. Does have Nano Swarm. So maybe I'm anticipating a little bit of aggression here. Pulls the shorty out on the back of the gravity well. Quickly. It's very clear where the post part is now. Jorgamo needs impact and he finds it. Takes out Chronicle. And the late positioning from Boaster could be a real issue though. Again, time still on Fnatic side. That's lovely work from Boster and Durka. Busio comes back in, but can't get past. Durka waiting patiently. Demon 1 and Com, I think their options have dwindled here. Try and hold on to the Odin at least. Do some further damage because oh, oh, the timing was insane for Demon 1. Does Busio draw enough attention? He does. Does he commit to this? A little bit of a spam. That's okay, good. so heads up from Leo, though. Bustio still got one, though. How does he get out for here? And Jorgamo gets away. Bustio doesn't, though. So Fnatic's still on for a little bit of a run here, but they're just going to be pausing. They've decided they'd rather face him one. He's got four players coming his way. Leo's just removed his only support system. It's all down to him. Oh, I thought he might have had a second. Knives out. He's going to do some serious damage. He's what seen so much for Leo. Quick to respond. And now looking for that plant. Pauses for a second. He's behind him. And Ethan's from Chronicle. It's all on Leo. The man who denied them OT. Denied them the chance. This time he falls. A little scary. Durka, the paranoid did land. Jogamo with the TP. Trying to keep himself safe, door shut, and no one there to receive it. Hey, what a big trade, though. The paranoia for the showstopper, whether or not he's oh. Ethan <laughs> nearly cresting that corner. But Fnatic just posturing up a little bit. They have two players making progress towards A. Bustio will find the spike on Boaster, though. And the Seekers as well, because Fnatic are everywhere. They've infiltrated the entire map. Demon 1 waiting, spots them. Now he's in danger. Jorgamo's got his back. Takes down Alpha, and we're down to Chronicle, Durka, and Leo. Leo is looking monstrous today, though. Some impact kills for sure. Spike back in hand in 19 seconds. That B side looking vulnerable, but they could also look towards C. Trouble is, it didn't catch Durka here, but I think the Flash did. Flash should have caught him. Oh, my word. There's the Viper's Pit. They've decided they've committed for that B plant. Spike planted. Durka's pretty far off, but the two players on the side, Leo and Chronicle, the ultimate duo. The best that they could have achieved. Looking at picking up that fully fledged roster. These were the players to headhunt. Flash goes into the pit. Demon 1 goes on top. Leo looks for it. Finds it. Finds it. No, no more. It's down to a 1v2. Ethan down to 76. But Durka and Chronicle sitting pretty. He's been found. But to the ballistic for now. But you still have the players split towards the extremities. Bustio and Comp making control of that. You do see, though, that Fnatic are playing towards connector. So Demon 1's going to have his hands full. Boaster, Leo, Durka all there. Paranoia could be huge. He's diving in. A one for one trade out, Leo sends it back, Alpha doubles down, and they're clearing oh, on so through. Dropped. Fnatic looking so deadly. Timing not there at all, Leo. With Chronicle. Actually, he does catch oh. the TP finally, yeah, but Com good for the trade. Okay. The rifle retreat for Demon 1. Only 15 seconds left to play with, though. Spikes down in a little bit of a dangerous spot. It is picked up, 10, 10 seconds, seconds now. Any more damage would be good for. 
I don't think they're going to get much here. Demon's gone down, and there it is. Fnatic take through towards C, but the retake's going to be deadly. So it's down to the likes of Com and Poster. Who wins that fight? It's going to be Poster. That's a free upgrade as well. Plant's going to come down. And I just love the way that they teed that up. Yeah. That's going to be three denied. Slows the roll, and Demon One wants it. Gets it. Takes down Poster. Follow up score. Just can't get the third, though. Jorgobo, a little out of sync on that, allows Leo and Chronicle to answer back, but buys a little bit of time and keeps them into this kind of 2v3. Bustio and Ethan, though, can they keep control of this? More time being purchased here. A little bit of chip damage, yes, but now Ethan's got to be ready for this one. Three players, he can't do enough, Fnatic! Almost touching double digits here. Shot from Durka, wants a little bit of the limelight for himself as Demon 1 removed early on here, above 120. Ooh! That's a pinch from Kong. Shot, sure. hold on. Durka, though, look how quick he responds to this. Alpha's there with him. Oh, it's stunning from Alpha. But he's so close, he's one away. <laughs> oh, Bosa opens up the door. And Chronicle even gets a follow up. Demon One's gone down. They haven't even had a chance to really start that roll in towards the site. But waiting in the wings, Leo's there. Bosa, Chronicle, all nearby. Lockdown's going to go through, too. This now gets deadly. It's going to ask a lot of these players. Is Bucio going to at least get Chronicle down? But look at it. How do you get past Alpha and Leo? Jorgamo is not going to do it. Here on the map now. It's to count for the lockdown, so... Paintshell will go in, immediately removing that. Shit's getting less and less, and here comes that setup's effectiveness. It's going to be tested once that second layer of players come in. Demon 1 can get past pretty comfortably. The rest not so much. Alpha and Chronicle are set. The door swings and say goodbye to three. EG left in tatters, Demon 1 and Ethan, the only on, really, on the site. And okay, gets Durka down. Should be able to get a plant off this. I mean, maybe Alpha's position's a little uncomfortable. They've got to win maybe one of these two extremities. Ethan trying to find that safe plant. Watch for the CT side. Now, what can these two do? A 2v4. Was a 2v5. Seekers is going for it. Trying to give them everything they can, every tool that they have invested here. Ethan down low though, 21 HP, and Demon 1 sitting pretty. Finds the first, Ethan trades it, and now down to a 1v2. But it's the big boys, it's Alpha and Leo, the ones who've really come alive here in these finals. Flashes one, expects a swing. Oh, a great read from Ethan, but not in control. They're gonna hear all this utility, and that door's gonna open. There is someone waiting, it's Durka. Delivers to us, Jogamo in a second. Divine work from Durka, he wants more. Get the door open again, swing it through. Give me another target. Does Demon 1 want to go for it? The flash is there. Oh, he saved him! Durka just took down Bustio as well. Hold on. Plant. Seekers once again. Bloody hell. Right, they're going to take a journey. Demon 1's position could be everything. He should have the drop on Leo. He does. Now 2v2. Coming back around, it's all over towards mound. This time, Ethan's even got a flash. Yeah. yeah, this could be massive in Chronicle. Gonna try and take a couple of steps forward. Spotted on the cross, now the flash doesn't need it. Ethan's there, saves it for last. And Poster, gonna catch one, the spray, it's a little too wild. This time around, Dick here, and he will be rewarded. Durka will fall. Great, you know, no man's land. I th go for? Yeah, I think as well, and it's, if you look for the end. It's gonna force him slightly deeper. See, Demon 1 trying to close in, but the timing's great from Com. Durga couldn't divide and conquer for once in his life. Normally, he's there for it, good for it, but Leo has been monstrous. Spam goes in, look at the damage they're getting on this quick heal comes out as well. Leo trying to close that gap, he's already on the site, shorty in hand. Spam again, looking for the player. Leo can't do it this time, Jogobo's still alive. Poster gets the trade. He's gonna be spamming this all day long. Ethan's down at 8 HP, Alpha's found Demon 1. It's a 3v3, it's fine, the player. Bustio can't land it. And now there's pressure on the site itself. Goes again, Alpha's got him. It's down to two, back down to a 2v2 though. It's going back and forth between these guys, Poster. Spam the entire round. Connects it, takes it through it. And that's map one in the pocket of Fnatic. Even see a little bit of a switch up here. Yeah. A geeky little setup with the smoke as well. What is this? That's so weird. Okay, I mean, that's not gone well for Boaster, but luckily, Chronicles absolutely nuts. Ethan wow. desperately Hold doing up. some chip damage, and actually it's Bustio to take down Durka, so Chronicle has to respect this. And on the other side, remember, Demon 1 could lean through towards B as well. Leo, though, 
seems like the punchline to every joke of these rounds. So much pressure. Yeah, he can't go too far away. Dimon has to watch this cross. Fault line back up as well with Leo flanking back through main. Huge opportunity here to pinch through onto Pillar. Flash for Ethan. He's, he's, that's his only little bit of safety. They still don't know about Demon 1, but he is going to have to do something heroic here. You know, 1v3. First, low. That's Chronicle gone. The rest not sitting so low, oh. but just above. See, the other side of things, actually, going to cut, yeah, Chronicle a deep position towards main. Easy now scrambling to try and find at least a consolation here with the plant. Oh, oh my god. Alpha. That transfer is disgusting from yeah. Alpha. And towards. Just misses the aftershock a little too high. Oh, but that shot's gorgeous from Jorgamo. Follow up from Demon 1, but Leo gonna levy this out. Bring it back down to a 3v4, but. Corner as well. Yep. Camera finally removed, but Chronicle with the trade. And still, EG not finding the full ways to navigate through this. Now they've got so many problems on this site. Do they try and run away? You've got 20 seconds. Where do you go here? You've got to hope that Chronicle lets you leave. Not going to happen. You've got to force it yourself. Jogolo going to give them the pathway out, and they are running for their lives towards B. Enough time to get this plant down. Set up a little bit here. Alpha, actually, on the round the world mission. Going to come back towards B main here. For it. Double stack's going to work out. They're not going to let him past. So it's just Alpha. And Ethan does look vulnerable. Audio Q heard for sure. Messi. Not enough for Alpha that time. And yeah, he's got so many targets. They're all going to make it bad. Potentially. I was going to say, Durka not cleared by this. Oh. Well, now he's cleared. But you've got to say, EG, I don't mind the Fnatic try to go for this. EG no. have been putting high priority in taking towards middle. And now the first couple of steps going to come through. In one's cleared through the site, but Alpha's connected towards Ethan. Next up, Boaster gets it! Swings down Jorgamo! Cross ain't safe anymore. Spike picked up, all comes in. Chronicles got Boostio and Demon 1 and Com are left in a dire scenario. 17 seconds, no plan to their name. And you already see Alpha getting closer, denied by Demon 1. Next challenger to come through. Demon 1 still looking. My boss, the angle he has. Chronicle, that bit closer. Com turns on a dive, he tried! And he failed, Fnatic! looking maybe a little bit more competitive, but Chronicle on the side gonna buy some time. Gives himself the angle and gives himself the fight. The paranoia sent in is perfect. Ethan goes down and EG now just being bullied around the map. They can't get past Ramp, they can't give away. Game here, yeah, Demon 1 looks very dead. It's actually calm to go down on the other side of the map. Durkers, Rain Shell's gonna find Demon. Right there, Chronicle still holding the corner. Ethan, a lot of pressure towards Durker. We'll find the kill, but response is there from Boaster and Leo. Always here to clean things up. Ustio will fall. 30 seconds left. Yeah, they're going to need that timeout now. I've seen this trap before elsewhere. Jeez. Not executed correctly this time around. Durka actually pops the showstopper here to try and find something. So it actually does come through. A ton of damage onto Ethan. Demon wants deep. The demon wants slip through. Yeah, How has that happened? Way deeper than expected. Isolates Boaster. Uh, direction is going to be Leo on the other side. The man that caused him all that hurt on this very site. The divide to play behind. The Viper's pit gonna go up. This goes, he can absolutely be the death of them. He's gonna find one, but Chronicle took down Bustio. So how much more can Jorgamo do? Demon One's found Leo, so it's all going their way, but he can't quite see these players. Down low on HP. Chronicle can't recover it. Angle Flash has to respect it. They're now closing up. He was fully blind. Did he see Jorgamo? I think he did. Now he does. And now he's in a little bit of danger. Patriots with the feet. Does he get away? No! Durka denied! And they get away scot free. Another first pick here. Untraded. And is he able to slow down behind this? Boaster, paranoia, invested, but on a wild swing. That's a little too ambitious there. Might need to cool down a bit himself. Give it really nice. Trying to keep some control of this map. Limits on those options. How long does he hold this, though? One to seven, not exactly a headline of performance, but the value on this could be huge. Oh. Did Alpha spot? I don't think he spotted. Oh, that's huge. That's the operator down. Gets picked up by... He's got to know what's coming in. Uh, Jogo wins that? And now the, the pinch, right? Does Alpha do something horrific? DG, he's gonna catch Com at the very least. TP take and post on the side. Catch it out, Dima 1, seem none the wiser. Now the timing on that, okay. Didn't expect Jorgamo to be working around by that tower, but now look at the lurk as well coming in. Bustio, late presence in middle. Trying to bait out Bustio. He's done it. 
He's oh gonna catch him, that's the low, gone. God, and now down to the two, Jorgomo and Ethan. Gonna need a big round from Ethan here. Six seconds on the flash, but it's actually Jorgomo to deliver. Needs nothing short than an ace, but he's ahead of it. Takes out Poster, Leo overwhelmed. Even one sign to catch a light in this round. Denial of that pace change, though. They can't then close it on the site. They're being held back here. Chronicle trying to close them down. He's got out by side for the timing, it's not right. Chronicle, fools, Durka trying to punish the cross. He gets a dink. He's a down low, but they overwhelm Alpha. And EG have taken the side by storm. What do you do with this? I don't think there's much. Late rounds weren't working for them because no. Fnatic were winning the. Plant should be there. Don't think that's going to be denied. Nope, not going to catch. Okay, 5v5 post plant. Oh, look at this positioning. Oh, Bustio got caught out so badly, but a big trade for Com. Jogobo then trying to pick up the pace a little bit, trying to survive by CT. Three players on the other side, Leo up towards heaven. Dude, Has he got a flash? Pop out. Oh, Ethan's not got a flash at all. 10 seconds. The turn of the flash is good for Ethan, though. And now the brawl begins. Ethan gets away with his life, but it's a 3v2. Fnatic hold the numbers here. And Com, that's dangerous as hell. Barely getting away with that. Information about to be fed through Ethan. Position now noted. Diffuse started. He's got to try and deal with all these players here. There's so many problems though. Ethan, this could be everything. It's not going to happen. Pain shell in. They're committing. They want this fight there. Dirk has got two dead. EG have strewn across the ground. Information now noted. And Alpha starts to hunt. Is Com going to expect this? <laughs> it looks none the wiser. Oh, Alpha. This man has controlled half of this map. Yeah. So many options, so many opportunities. Reflected here in the, the control the Fnatic have. Bustio, though. That's on. Chronicle not spotted and will punish for it. Ethan, though. First response. Said the pace suiting Fnatic to a T and Jorgamo being hunted down very early on. Forced away, you can see the confidence. What? And you can see why. Durka lands an out of this world shot on Ethan, adjusting. Jorgamo gonna get one back, hold on. They're going back to back, sort of ridiculous here, Sneer. Now what is going on? Leo and Boaster now? Can isolate Boaster, he's been spotted. So we've got to think about that additional player. Where is Leo in this? Dean one took down post up. Frenzy to hand. It's a bit of a mess at this range. You can see the smile creeping up on his face. Doesn't need to overdo this, but again, I guess you can't play normal 5 and 5 Valorant against Fnatic. But you can ask Bustio to absolutely decimate them on the cross. And post up. This could be devastating for Fnatic too. Yeah, Demon 1 goes down, but there's still Jorgamo here. Can he get out with his life? Yes. Flash didn't quite crest the corner, so Bustio gets another shot at this. That's massive. One mistake with a flash, and it doesn't work out for them. Comms fallen, so no support systems on the way. Bustio is living on borrow time. Seconds 28 seconds. And Suzak. Oh my god, he's got another. They've all gone through on heaven. Ethan spots out one more. Progresses forward. Oh my word. How dare I doubt Bustio? They have to be so crystal clear in these rounds because. Uh, as we've noted, the threats can come from bloody anywhere with Fnatic. Alpha could hit, you know, this nutty shot over towards A, and then suddenly it's, you know, someone like Ethan oh, no. on an island. Oh, no. Yeah, hello. There it is. And now Ethan's on an island. And do they lean into this? Luckily for them, Ethan is solid as a rock. Demon 1 wants some information. He finds almost too much. Takes away Darker's head, the paranoia. Doesn't find them anything as a response to slow there. The counter utility to deny that. But you saw that potential, Mike. Look how deadly that round almost got. Ethan actually spots out Chronicle on the Trailblazer. Combo here to provide some support. Boaster trying to counter that back, but a ton of damage done. Yeah, trying to go for that deep swing. Fnatic finding no easy openings. Ethan tucked on site. Jogamo towards CT. And there's the burst. Durka slowed down, though, denied on the way in. Pain shell! It's huge! Jorgamo gonna find Durka, but it's out from the trade out. They aren't clearly cleaning through just yet. Finally, Ethan swings it. Perfect! The follow up! Oh, Ethan! A third for him! Surely no more. Eight bullets in the mag. Alpha on the other side. It's a 50 50. The shots come in. Oh, comes out. Alpha's gonna make a go of this. A 1v3 is not out of the realms of his possibility. But Starting to see a little bit of that fire back in EG. We saw that potential on map one, but it fizzled out. But Trailblazer will confirm. There's no stack behind oh. Durka, and he's removed so early on. But it's pulling the rotation, or at least 
a moment's hesitation to consider it. Yeah, Bustio just committed back to the site, trying to support towards Demon 1. Flash is going to go into follow. You can see they're trying to lean their way forward. The Flash is fantastic. Fnatic still a crunch towards B side. Demon 1 in danger. 30 HP. Overwhelmed. Fnatic are here. And now two remainers, Ethan and Khan. What can you do about it? Seekers go through. They want to work fast, but Seekers on the way back in as well. Spotting at least one, maybe two towards backside. They're looking for Leo. They find him, but they can't take him down. Khan's in danger. Switches out. Gets the chance for a reload. And Boaster with the TV just to get away. Caught on the cross though, Ethan denies Leo. And now it's down to Chronicle on the site. And Boaster watching their way forward. 30 HP, Boaster's found Ethan. Oh, Fnatic, always deadly, always dangerous. You are never out of the round. Doesn't slip through. And the rotations are far, right? With yes. Ethan being yep. where he's at, there is no support anywhere nearby. That flash, he needs to get moving. Ethan just cleared towards heaven. He knows no one's there. The call should be coming in fast that we are in danger on it. They have to almost over deliver here. You just heard it as well. Rocket in hand, Durka closing in towards the site. Com is living on borrowed time here. Yeah, he's gone down, nothing more to be done, but Bustio does very well. Finds two himself, but the response from Durka is gorgeous. Plant now gonna come through. And a 3v3 post plant. Let's look at those positions. That's huge though, look how much damage Durka took. Gonna swap out here, Demon One does have the Blade Storm as well. We'll have a rifle here to close the gap. Durka actively taking a fight. Actively looking for this. Jorgamo unleashing, but he eats the flash! And now there's so many problems for Demon 1 unleashing Fury. Finds his way towards the first, but the second. You're not going to catch Leo here, surely. 13 seconds for another flash. He's already got one in hand. Both trying to draw the attention. Plays in Leo, and now a 1v2. Ethan, it's almost impossible. Fnatic outplaying him now. Mid-round ultimate to find. Ethan will spot two, though. Alpha and Chronicle revealed. It feels like you've identified maybe an end goal. <laughs> But Demon 1 looked a little proactive on that. I was wondering if he was actually going to follow that train of thought up further. But Fnatic have now kind of pushed and pulled EG into a three-man stack on A. Do they dare continue to go down this route, though? I think on the back of being spotted here, you can see now, actually, Durka and Boaster looking to create a little bit of pressure towards B Heaven. Demon 1 still with the Blade Storm here. Not going to find anything just yet. Com has to respect the nade. I feel like they might want to readdress Heaven now. The wide swing takes down Boaster. Alpha's still around, though. They're not out of it yet. There's still presence here. How much damage can one man do? A whole lot. 21 HP gets traded. Jorgamo's there. Leans a little further forward. Now on the site. Leo, Durka, and Chronicle. Chronicle still has utility. Ooh. Chip damage, yes. But not enough to change the outcome just yet. Jorgamo towards the site, joined by Bustio. Flash comes in, denies the next step, but is now down the Leo. A 1v4 is not going to happen. But back I'm on the pressure. Spoke about it earlier, how much impact this could have as well. Com's got to be cautious, though. Alpha will always test. If he sees weakness, he will have it. <laughs> but has to respect this for now. So that does at least deny a little bit of some of that maybe um, easier access towards eight. Going to control some of the portion of the map. But it allows Fnatic to focus a little bit more towards middle. Again, only utility dealt with, but Durka wants to close down. Jorgamo's not made it far here. Shorty waiting. Now he's in danger. He's given away a bit of the game. He's got to be careful. Demon 1 and Jorgamo feel a little bit of pressure. Fnatic are desperate to punish Jorgamo's position in the early yep. round. Once again, set up for this trap play with the fault line. Fnatic, a pause for thought here. Are they thinking to go through vent? What? <laughs> He's got some problems on his hand. One is Alpha. Removes him, now he gets back to business. He's got problems in the other form of Chronicle. Closing down and now he's alone. The site smothered and Leo and Durka are turning on a, on a dime. 30, 13 seconds, wait. He, oh, okay, you didn't see him just yet. It's all falling apart for EG. This looked like Com had done enough to prevent a comfortable split coming through from Fnatic, but four through heaven pays off for them. Jorgamo just caught off guard by the timing. Yeah. I just don't know what how Leo flip. got that Yeah, kill. what like... a flip. I don't know if Com... Contact, we're going to play his life, going to play ahead of this low paint shell, forcing him into fight. Paranoia. Oh, he's going to keep his life. 40 HP, he's still standing. Jorgamo's got his back, finding out from the other side of the map here. Chronicle, though, still dangerous, still deadly, but the crunch just ain't happening. 
Boaster and Leo, how much more can you do? Not enough. EG response. Showing the finances for Fnatic as well, but hold that for. Yeah, no, no, Doug has just absolutely let off the leash. He's taking down Cards. He decimates Boostio. The sight's his. That's I the benefit of having Doug. And you're looking good for 12. Showstopper available here as well, but EG is three. Do they respect this? They try and do some damage. Try and even get this retake started nice and early. They need something. They need a kill. If they don't get it anytime soon, this one's all but done. Drogmo gets away with it, though. Gets ahead of that flash. It's Ducker on the other side. He's having a miraculous round. Four. Ethan is, is playing on borrowed time, it feels like. He's got, yeah, he's got nothing. Absolutely nothing. And maybe history is set to repeat itself. Does he even get that close? Leo, the man who hammered that nail in the coffin before. And it's on Demon 1 and Comp. Show us what you're made of. You've got a judge and you've got a vandal. Demon 1 needs to summon some strength here. A good performance. He's got to be sheerly demonic. That's the start. Comp going to take down the first. Upgrade found. The time ticking. Demon 1 finds another, but it's not enough. Fnatic once again.